Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And I am back with, I think, what will be the final video um, of our collage boards and using our collage boards and what we can make with them. And there's so many things that you can make with them, but there are only so many videos that, you know, you can do on them as well <laughs> without boring y'all to death. So I figured this is enough. It kind of gives you some ideas to play with and and you know different ways that you can use them so i thought what we would do is just kind of go back through what we've made and then i think what we'll do is try and um, put them in this big journal we've been working in and just kind of show you how they look um in use so to speak so we made um our fun little tags um lots of tags and um, so these are tags these right here are from the copies that we made from um, our collage boards. And then these are some of the original tags from the original um, collage board. So we have tags and we have journal cards. These are from the copies. And uh, you can use, um, I just made all of these from the copies. But you can use them, um, you know, you can you, you can make journal cards out of the actual collage board, too. So there's those. And then we made our shaker pockets and shaker tags. So this is a pocket this way. And you can just attach it directly into the journal. This is a full shaker. So this can be like a shaker journal card or a shaker tag. Or it can be a pocket. And um, this is a full um, shaker pocket so it's a pocket all the way up um, this one as well is a full shaker pocket and we also made some shaker tags so this one I don't think you saw me finish this one but it turned out super cute I added the little um, bullpen and uh, eyelash trim up here with the little bells this one is just a shaker pocket and you can actually write on the back of it or shaker tag and then this one is a shaker tag that I've added the trim at the top and you can um, journal on the back as well but it can also be a little pocket too so shaker tags and here's a very large shaker tag that I made specifically for the big journal so um, it's super cute just to have that shaker right in the middle and you can write on the back of this one or you can add paper if you don't want to write over the you know the paper bag portion of it so there's that and then there's these tags that I made from some of the copies we didn't make these on video but um, I made these from some of the copies um, of the collage board and then we have these which is our paper clips that we made and our little booklets and our little tearaway booklet that we made so i thought what we could do is um just kind of pull them out and use them in the journal so i'm going to pull the journal over real quick if i can get him he's big <laughs> so oh i was going to show you what i did um to finish the um the tip in pocket that we created together so um, I just, I did add another pocket to the side over here, stuffed it with some little goodies, some stationary goodies and some vintage items. And then this pocket, I stuffed it with some stationary stuff, a little vintage book page, and then some vintage items. This is a, um, like a little German postcard. So I think it turned out really, really cute. And I love the way um, it works in, in this journal. So let me go ahead and tie this back up real quick. There we go. All right. So now we just need to kind of flip through the journal and I probably need to move my camera higher. So um, that might be a task. Hang on a second. Okay, so I think that might do the trick. <laughs> so you can actually see uh, the journal. <laughs> it is huge. It's a very big journal. So, okay, so I thought we would just flip through and just see what we need to wear um, to add 
to our journal and um, use our tags and stuff, our tags and our paper clips. Okay, so let's see. This one kind of is plain, so we could put something here. So maybe we could put one of our altered paper clips there. So let's try one of those there. And then I'll come back later and put some scripture or something like that um, into there. So let's see. You know, we could just do this as a, a flip through video too. And that way you're seeing um, this journal. Because as soon as I finish putting all this, these goodies in here, I am going to be putting it in the Etsy shop. Okay, so this is one of the copies um, that I made from um, the collage board. And so I just made like a little booklet out of it. And I'm just going to tuck it right in here. Whoops. We don't want to fold him up. So we're just going to tuck it right in here in this belly band. And that way you have something peeking out of the belly band. Okay. So let's see what else we need. I know that there were a couple of places like it Places like this, I will go back through and put my scripture cards and things like that in. Um, let's just flip, keep flipping like this. I'll put a scripture card there. Um, you know what? We could um, we could do a cute little tag in this one. I like one of these long tags, so we can do a long tag in that little Billy Van there. There we go. I will do another flip through of this journal simply because, <coughs> excuse me, um, um, you know, because I'm not showing you everything that's in the journal right now, but I do want to use one of these journal cards um, that peeks out the top of this. Um, not that one because it's not the right orientation. Maybe we'll use this one with the pink lace coming out of it. So we can do it something like, like that. I like that. All right, let's see. This one's pretty packed. And see like these little paper clips here, I'll go back and put in like a scripture or something to that effect underneath. All right, so this pocket, it only has um, the pretty pink lined paper in here. So let's use a tag in this pocket. Let's use this tag. I think that'll be super cute in there. And then we could maybe even use a little journaling card that comes out the side. Like that. Perfect. Okay. So we have that. Now I don't want to, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't want everything to be in the first signature of the book, so we're going to flip on through. And basically what I'm doing is just kind of flipping through to see if, you know, if there's any pockets or tucks or anything that just kind of looks like something's missing from it. Because I've already kind of tucked a lot of stuff in this journal. <laughs> okay, so here we have this pocket. And I don't particularly want to use um, a collage board piece in the pocket since I already have um, the pocket made out of the collage board piece. So we'll come back. I'll come back and, and add things to that pocket later. Okay. I know we had um, some pockets and stuff in here that needed stuff in them, or I thought I did. And I just kind of saved... A space for it let's see and I mean we don't have to use all of this in this journal because the Lord help the journal would never close if we did but <laughs> let's see okay so see like on this one I will come back and put something under there let's see if we have a cute journaling card or anything you know what? I'm going to wait on that because I want to check pockets and things first. Okay, so this belly band kind of needs something. So I think it would be cute to maybe put a tag or even a shaker tag in this belly band right here. So let's put a shaker tag and then I'll come back later and add a smaller tag to that uh, the pocket. 
in the shaker tag. Okay, let's see. I know we have more pockets. And I'll come back and put something in that belly band um, because I don't want to use uh, a collage board stuff because you don't want too much of the collage board stuff because then it's like overwhelming. Okay, this pocket has some, some vintage goodies in there, but I think I want to put something cute. So let's do, I don't think I want to do a journal card. I think I want to do a tag. So let's do a cute little tag to go in there. Nope. That pocket overwhelms it. So we're gonna keep going. I know what I can I know what I can put in this pocket. Hang on a second. Okay, so I grabbed one of the copies of the master board that I had made and I cut a tag out of it and just added a little piece of trim here. And that just adds a little bit of color in that pocket there. And again, it I want to decorate this so much. But I try to leave things like this, you know, something plain like this, so that whoever gets the journal can decorate it um, in their own theme or style or whatever, you know, and they can they get to have the fun with it instead of me trying to do all of the decorating. It's very hard for me to do that. <laughs> um, this was uh, a belly band that I had done from another um, collage board that I had. So you can tuck something in there. Um, but I just kind of wanted to flip through and find some spots to add some goodies like this um, pocket here. We could add um, a tag if we can get these to stop being tangled up. <laughs> so I think it would be cute to add a little tag. Let me see. Let's add one of our little tags in here. And that just adds a little something to that pocket. Ooh, sorry if I hit the uh, <laughs> if I hit the video with my head. Okay, so this one we could put one of our little tags in here in this pocket, and it just adds a little color to that pocket. I like that. Okay, so we'll just keep flipping through. Oh, and I meant to tell y'all, I'm sorry. Um, that I didn't add, um, I was gonna add a, um, a dangle in here and I never did in that video, so. But that's okay, it'll be all right. Okay, so on this one, we could add a journal card. I don't wanna add one like that though because it already has that little lace on it. So how about if we add one of our shaker cards to here? Because you can actually use this as a journal card and it can be a pocket. It doesn't have to just be, you know, a pocket that you stick down to the page. Or you could use it here. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in there so that that gives whoever gets this journal, um, you know, a pocket to play with. So here's one of the um, paper clips. And I'll go in and put some, some kind of goodie in that pocket. And then there will be something or underneath this paper clip. And then there will be something underneath this paper clip too. So, still have some things to add to the journal. Whoops. Okay, so maybe we might could add one of our cute little journaling cards to this pocket here. See, this is one of the, um, the burrito style pockets, and I didn't stuff it with anything, so maybe we could add one of those, and possibly even like our little booklet we could add into there. There we go. See, that'd be cute. Okay, and then we'll tuck that down in there. And so they actually, whoever gets the journal will have a stuffed pocket to put anywhere they want to in the journal. All right, let's see if we have anywhere else. Now, see these little pages here. I love, love, love these pages. They're a, a vintage life magazine and so these can be used as pockets, but I didn't want to put anything in the pockets because I didn't want to detract from the ads that I absolutely love. I love the vintage ads, and so I figured I'd let whoever gets the journal decide if they want to use those little pockets or not. All right, so this one, let's put um, one of our journaling cards in here, and that way we have a little lace coming out, and doesn't that look pretty up against those colors? So we can use that journal card there. 
Um, hmm. I might put a cluster or something on here. But see, again, I'm having to hold myself back from decorating um, because I want whoever gets the journal to be able to do that. Okay, let's put a tag in here. So I made these little, um, this little small tag out of one of the copies um, that I had made and then added this teeny tiny tag with a bulb pen. So let's put this down in this pocket and let that one hang over and then you've got the lace coming out the side. Let's do that. Okay. Let's, okay, so we have a pocket here. Um, let's use another one of our, I don't want to put too many shaker tags in there because let's use this one. Nope, this one goes the other direction. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll wait on that. Because I just, I, I can't fill these pockets too full because she has alligator mouth severely. And you know what? This, this might fit here. Wouldn't that be cute? I don't know, we might need an up and down one. So we'll save that. However, this one will be cute here. It has a tag tucked underneath that belly band. Okay. She is definitely getting very full. <laughs> but I always just fill my journals to the brim. Okay, here's a spot. And I love, love, love this one with the little bells that jingle. You want that be cute tucked into there. That's the perfect little pocket for that one. And let's see. Almost to the end. We're almost at the last signature. So, like I said, we don't have to use all of them. You know, we have some left over, and that's okay to have some left over. I do want to put something in this pocket here. Um, you know what? That's too big. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we could do this little, our little booklet. Let's tuck that down in that pocket, and then we can bring our tags peeking out. That's super cute. I like that. So now we have both of our little booklets in here that we made. We have almost all of our tags that we made. Um, excuse me. Hmm. I think, I think I'm gonna add this shaker card into this pocket. I love this. So cute and I think it'll be cute to add that into that pocket there yep I like it okay almost finished guys where are we on our time okay we're not doing too awful bad Alrighty. I'm just trying to find extra pockets and things that might need something maybe a little something now this pocket is stuffed pretty good but I might add this in here just to give it a little color up higher nope that's too much it's too much okay keep going Oh my goodness, I love Eloise Wilkin. This is from a child craft book, and I've hoarded this book forever, and so I'm like, okay, I have to use this book, because otherwise it's just sitting on my shelf. Look, aren't these the coolest old ads? I love these so much. All right, I think I want to put something else in this pocket with this little booklet, so maybe this tag. I'm hoping that my head is not getting it in this video because number one my hair looks like it doesn't look great today there we go okay 
that very much added to the bulk of the book, but that's okay. Okay, we need something in here, but I need something more plain in that little pocket, so I'll go back and put something a little more plain in there. We're getting to the end, guys, so we may be finished with stuff in our pockets and using our goodies, but I do want to use this big, big tag in here, so I'm going to go through and find somewhere to use this really big tag. So I think... That is pretty much it. So we've used, oh, we've used almost everything <laughs> that we made in our journal. So yeah, so that's just kind of how I do it as far as going through and stuffing pockets and tucking things in and using the collage board um, things that we made in our journals. So if you, I hope you enjoyed this series um, and I hope you enjoyed making some fun goodies along with me. You know what? We're going to put this little bad boy right there. See, this is what I do when I stuff a journal. And I keep going back and forth through it. <laughs> and the more I go through it, the more I stuff into it. So that's why all of my journals are super mega stuffed. Because I just don't know when to quit. <laughs> but that's okay. Because whoever gets the journal, they can take all the goodies out and use them in other journals or use them in their journal or whatever they want to do and make it their own journal. But I just always want to make sure that whoever gets my journals gets plenty of goodness to play with. So anyways, that is what I do when I'm stuffing my journals and using um, our collage board items that we have made in the journal. See, here's another journal card slash pocket. Um, but I don't want to put too many shakers in here. So I think, you know, I think it's got enough shakers in here. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this series. If you have any comments or questions, requests, or something else you'd like to see me make with the collage boards, let me know. I'll be happy to try to accommodate those if I can. So anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Big hugs.